Well, good afternoon. I'm Larry, and I get a lot of people uh, asking questions about uh, where can we find a praying mantis egg case, and what does a praying mantis egg case look like? Well, first of all, let's just talk a little bit about where you might find them. Um, usually they're found in grassy meadows. Now right here we've got a what you could say is a, a large meadow, um, lots of grass. A problem is we've cut the grass uh, regularly, so grasses don't get to grow very tall, um, so it's not a good habitat for our insects. Behind our meadow we've got woods. Okay, woods in the summer grow pretty dense. Not a lot of sun gets to the bottom, so we don't get a lot of summer flowers. We need bees and flies and grasshoppers, things like that to feed the praying mantises. So we're not going to find many praying mantises in the woods. You might find the praying mantis or an egg case along the edge of the woods, but you're not going to find them on a well uh, mowed lawn or um, in the woods. You might find them in your garden. So let's find out what they'll look like. Let's see if we can find anything in the park. Now let's uh, just pan the camera over. And this is where you're likely to find praying mantis egg cases. This is uh, an area of tall grass adjacent to the meadow that's uh, mowed regularly. I'm going to slip this camera out of here and then we're going to walk over and see what we can find in the field here. And yeah, let's see if I can get that out of there safely. All right, let's take a walk. So, praying mantis egg cases. They're usually found on thin sticks. Well, how thin is a thin stick? Well, we've got some things in front of the camera here. We've got a stiff blade of grass. We've got a stem of a plant that's um, pretty narrow. You can see my finger here. Uh, these stems are gonna be less than the diameter of a pencil. So that's for our Chinese praying mantis um, egg cases. So let's set that down. And we've got some tall grass here. Kind of wild with some stiff branches. Geez, we are really close to the edge. And I don't think we're going to find a whole lot right along the edge. So we're going to move in a little further. Some paths through here where the grass is rather low. Now, praying mantis egg cases are anywhere from, oh, uh, three quarters of an inch to inch, inch and a half round. They're not truly round. Think of a walnut. It's got to get that odd shape. And uh, they're usually attached to thin twigs or grass. Now here I found a branch that's got uh, small twigs and it has these growths on it, but these growths are not praying mantis egg cases. They are called galls. Galls are abnormal growths on a plant due to an insect or mite laying eggs or feeding on them. And if we can see closely, I'm not sure if we'll be able to get it in focus, there's a little exit hole on this, uh, on this gall. And that's where a little insect or wasp came out of. So galls are not praying mantis egg cases. Um, sometimes on leaves, you'll find another item. Where's my gall? Here's a gall that's now it's springtime, of course, so it's very soft. But in the fall, this was stiff and it was on the edge of a leaf or a branch on a tree. That's um, basically a hollow piece of uh, Item. So not a praying mantis egg case. So let's get rid of that. Let's pan around and look around for a praying mantis egg case. You see uh, the field here over the winter, the dead grass, the light brown or dark brown, and that's what we're going to look for a Chinese egg case trying to hide in the grasses. Let's try to look forward here. Okay, I've got a praying mantis egg case in the viewer. Can you see it? It's about the size of a walnut, and it is light tan. Let's see we go. I think I give it away there. So let's go down and take a look at that. Oh, here we go. It's a little wet, so I'm going to kneel and get my knee all wet here. Let's get this. Snap that out of there. There we go. All right, branches get away. So here we have a praying mantis egg case. Let's see if I can get it to focus a little better. There we go. All right, you see uh, this is a new egg case. You see a few holes in there, but that's uh, just the, from the weather, we're wearing it down. Uh, the, the, uh, let's see, I've got these branches in my way. <laughs> I'm gonna stand up. There we go. Now, this egg case, it's got the Chinese egg case shape. 
attached to a stick. That's the front of it. Excuse me for a moment while I pull that grass away. There we go. And where's my egg case? There we go on the front. This row of uh, vents along the top are where the nymphs are gonna emerge mid-May to mid-June. So that's the praying mantis Chinese, praying mantis egg case. I'm gonna come back and secure that inside. Might as well put it inside that fence someone placed around the uh, tree here. And let's look and see if we can find anything more. Let's look over here. We've got another, oh, here's another one of these uh, trees with a branch around it. Now here's something that's old and withered. And where's my viewer here? Let's see my viewer. Ah, bingo. Oh, hello, bird. I've got a visitor. Bye. All right, back down to the egg case. An old egg case doesn't look like it's in very good shape. And uh, that's not coming in focus. So let's. Uh, I'm thinking I'm near somebody's uh, territory. Let's uh, move away from this because this is old and not looking very good. Oh, I think I see another. Let's try moving across, pan out a little bit. Six All right. Another egg case. And we'll take that and move it a little bit. Here are the vents. Where do we go? Work on that, my film crew here. All right, here we go. Here are the vents on the top. That's where the little ones will hatch, the nymphs. And let's back off. All right, so we found a couple egg cases. They're not round. They are kind of an odd shape to them. Chinese praying mantis egg cases. And that's the scoop for today. Take care.